my first prompt will be this. Nice. Let's do another one. And it worked. Hey, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to create a Telegram AI image generator bot. We're going to need N8N from the previous video. If you don't have it installed, make sure to watch this video and deploy it. In that video, I showed you how to create a Telegram AI chatbot with Google Gemini. So let's go. We're going to need a Telegram bot. You can use an existing one, or in my case, I'm going to create a new one. So head over to Botfather, hit a start and new bot. Give it a name and give it the username and grab the token. Head over to your N8N instance and create a new workflow. Give it a name, search for Telegram in triggers, choose on message. We need to create a new credential, paste your token in and give it a name. So I will say, save that. That is fine. For every message that someone sends to that bot, you're going to trigger this workflow. Since this bot is going to cost us some money to generate those images, it's good if you filter this bot to only reply to you. So what we can do is just add an if condition, go to your telegram, open your bot, hit, hit start, back to the browser and click on test workflow. You're going to see that you just captured a message. Click on if, you can say if the chat ID equals to this and it's a number is equal to that. So if it's your message is going to be true, Otherwise, just do nothing. Click on Advanced AI, click on Open AI, and now you can see we have image action. Click on Generate Image. You need to create a credential, so click on that, create new credential, open the docs, scroll down, to here, go to your OpenAI panel, create a new secret, give it a name, everything else is fine, copy the secret and paste that in and save. I'm going to make it a little bit more uh, cleaner. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, just have a little bit of check if the message is from me, then grab the text. If the text is equal to start, because the first message, message that you send to, to the bot is going to be start like this. Then that's one case. Another case will be the same input. I just want to see the length of the message is enough or not. So if the length of the message is less than, let's say 20 characters, it's going to be short prompt. And otherwise, it's going to be greater than or equal to 20. Prompt. Send a text message. Send a message to this chat ID and the text is going to be, and you can also turn this off. In case it's a short prompt, you need to say, the prompt should be more than 20 characters. And otherwise, when it's a valid prompt connected to OpenAI, and 
and you will just use this text as the prompt. You can, of course, add a few options here. I will leave that to you. And after you created the image, you're going to send it to the user. So Telegram, send a photo message, connect these two, and then choose your credential. Of course, it's going to be the same. Chat ID, we're going to grab it from Telegram. Binary file, yes. And it's going to be data, uh, reply to message ID, and grab this message ID here. You can also do the same thing for reply to message ID, and it's going to be message ID. That's it. I believe this will work. So let's try it. Okay, now let's put everything together. I'm going to activate this. And when I go to execution tab, then I can see everything. So let's click on start. Send me a prompt. And you can see the flow for that message. It went through here and handle start. Now I'm going to provide a prompt. My first prompt will be this. Nice. Let's do another one. And it worked. This looks great. If you enjoyed the video, you're going to love this one as well. It's going to show you how to create a Telegram chat with AI. Thanks for watching. Until the next time.